Hey everyone, welcome to the beta. This is Jeff Kaplan. I'm one of the guys from the Overwatch team. We're extremely excited that the beta is finally starting. I, I know you guys are too. So we wanted to do a video to talk a little bit about the, the beta and if this is successful and this is the kind of thing you guys like and, and want more of, um, we'll definitely do more of these because we want to tell you exactly what the development team is looking for so you can be engaged with the game and be a big part of the community and the development of the game. You know, we're not, we're not yet there to launch and the purpose of the beta is to get us in a really good space for launch. Everyone, this is Jeff from the Overwatch development team here with another dev update for you. This one is less of an update and more of a thank you, to be honest. Um, as many of you know by now, we've announced the date that we're shutting down our closed beta. That date is gonna be April 25th. And I just wanted to express a sincere thanks on behalf of the development team and everyone here at Blizzard for how much you all have contributed to making Overwatch great and really getting it ready for the launch. Hi everyone, I'm Jeff from the Overwatch team. Welcome to today's developer update. This one is particularly exciting for me because we get to introduce you to Uprising, the new Overwatch event, which is now live. And we've seen a lot of desire for a non real world related holiday event. So something that we came up with kind of out of the blue. There's also been a big desire in the community to hear more story behind Overwatch. And a lot of us have worked on PvE games before, like World of Warcraft or the StarCraft campaign, that it was just so much fun for us to try to branch out and do something a little bit different. So we hope you not only enjoy all of the story elements that exist in the Uprising event, but also the new gameplay that hadn't really uh, existed in any other uh, form in Overwatch to date. Awesome. <laughs> so, for those of you who have been following along, we've been talking about an event called Overwatch Archives. And Overwatch Archives lets you play through defining moments of Overwatch history, such as Tracer's first Overwatch mission, like Uprising, that we all played last year. Did you guys like Uprising? Okay, awesome. But there are other events, such as the one that changed Overwatch history forever. Oh, we are going to have so much fun. It is going to be so awesome. So we have a lot to talk about, right? First and foremost, you have to remember that Overwatch is a team versus team, 6v6 competitive experience. And there is no way we're losing that at all. In fact, that's a huge focus. Now, when I talk to lots of you, there's a common request that you want out of Overwatch. And Overwatch 2 is going to deliver on this. And that's for more story and for PVE, for cooperative experiences. Overwatch 2 will feature a ton of PvE content. We will have a complete story experience featuring story missions. We have something called hero missions, which hero missions are focused on highly replayable cooperative experience. And they're powered by this really cool progression system where you can level up your heroes, get more powerful, customize your abilities, do different talents. It's gonna be a ton of fun. I just want you all to remember how much we all mean to each other, be good to each other, enjoy each other this weekend. Now let's go play some video games. Have fun, everybody. What's going on, everyone? This is Jeff from the Overwatch team. Wanted to just give you a really quick developer update so you knew what was going on and a little bit of a recap of what a crazy 2020 it's been. All in all, all things considered, we know that you at home had to deal with a lot in 2020 because of the rapidly changing world. Uh, we did as well. And we think it ended up being a pretty cool year for Overwatch overall. And even more so, I think we're excited about the future. Uh, can't wait to talk to you more about Overwatch 2. Can't wait to show you more with Overwatch 2. We know it's been too long. We know we've been quiet. Um, and we still have a ways to go just to manage expectations, but we're working extremely hard. We want this game to be great for you, both the live game 
and the upcoming sequel. We hope you have a wonderful holiday season, no matter what holiday you celebrate. We hope for all of humanity, 2021 is a little bit brighter and better than 2020 was. Be safe and know that all of us on the Overwatch team are thinking of you. Thank you. I can't believe I'm making this video. Um, you know, I mean, I look like shit. <laughs> I, I feel like shit. And now I feel even more like shit. Uh, Jeff is leaving Overwatch. This has come out of nowhere. And it's just, yeah, J Jeff's gone. I am leaving Blizzard Entertainment after 19 amazing years. It was truly the honor of a lifetime to have the opportunity to create worlds and heroes for such a passionate audience. I want to express my deep appreciation to everyone at Blizzard who supported our games our game teams and our players, but I want to say a special thanks to the wonderful game developers that shared in the journey of creation with me. Never accept the words, it appears to be always dare to see for what it could be. I hope you do the same, GG, Jeff. The PvP side of the game was coupled, or was joined with the PvE side of the game. And so the release of any PvP content was now being gated by the amount of time it took for us to, to build the PvE side of the game. And as that took longer, it meant that there was less focus going into the live side of the game. But at the same time, development on the PvE experience really hasn't made the progress that we would have hoped. With everything we've learned about what it takes to operate this game at the level that you deserve, it's clear that we, we can't deliver on that original vision for PvE that was shown in 2019. What that means is that we won't be delivering that dedicated hero mode with talent trees, um, that long-term power progression uh, those things just aren't in our plans anymore. And rather than pouring all of our efforts into these singular releases, we're, we're planning to make co-op gameplay and co-op experiences just part of our live roadmap. The Overwatch community has been in shambles over the horrible announcement that the many, many years and resources of developer time has been wasted. That the PvE as we knew it has been canceled. The whole point of it having a tool in its name and being marketed as a sequel is that there was this promise, this little pinky promise that the PvE and story mode, the hero mode, all that, it was coming. It was, you know, trademarked right around the corner. It's on its way. 2020, 21, 22. Literally, we played the most dead, non-existent, left alone game. All these things that they cited when Overwatch 2 comes out originally just not f***ing real. They just lied to us. I wouldn't even say they lied to us. That's not it at all. I think that, you know, there's actually, you know, who knows how long this has been a thing. Maybe this is why Jeff left. But I think it's just sad for the people who enjoyed this game. Because I know a lot of them personally, even my editor, Shake Drizzle, I think is like a paper two Overwatch player. And he loves playing that shit every night. He'll even be late on edits just to play that game a little more. And now he can't have fun co-op with all his friends. Sad, sad. Wish they did a better job over at uh, uh, the Activision Blizzard, but I think this was a lot of internal pressure from higher ups to deliver on a product and over hype a product to get them out of a tumultuous time, which led to disaster for the game itself. In this case, I had trouble pivoting away from a vision that just wasn't working. And for that, I would like to apologize to our players and to our team. I'm sorry. I don't think these, I, I can't, I don't think they're his words. I don't think that is real. Not anymore.